Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi again, everyone. New Jackson football coach Ryan Nesbitt will coach his first game at the pit Friday night. Nesbitt and the Indians will host defending Class 5 state champion Francis Howell. The Vikings are coming off an early opening season win over Fort Zumwalt North. Of course, in the first week of the season, they've won 16 straight games. Jackson coming off a 30-21 loss at Edwardsville, a game that was decided in the last minute. The Indians will look to clean up some mistakes this week and feed off the big home crowd. Heard a lot about the environment. I've coached down here in one game, but it'll be be different on the home sideline. So uh, excited for that. But right now, you know, we're just going one day at a time and, and just still going through the process of, of preparation. I'm really excited. The pit's always electric. There's always a lot of people here here to support us. So to be able to go out and play in front of them is always great. Jackson will host uh, Francis Howell Friday at seven. It will be one of our many featured games at Heartland Football Friday at 10:15 on Heartland News, of course. Meanwhile, the Red Hawks getting their game week rolling with a practice at Hawk Stadium. SEMO is ranked 11th in the FCS. K-State is a Power 5 team, ranked 16th in the FBS. Former Cape Central star Donye Taylor says this is a tremendous opportunity for SEMO to make some noise nationally. God gave us the opportunity to play at a top school. I'm, I'm truly blessed to be able to play a team that it's ferocious in every aspect, special teams, offense, defense, so I'm excited, truly. SEMO and Kansas State will kick off at 6 p.m. Saturday in Manhattan, Kansas. We'll have more on the Red Hawks season opener later this week on Heartland Sports. Well, high school soccer, two good programs going at it tonight at Notre Dame. The Bulldogs hosting Perryville. And uh, hey, I got to tell you something, both teams with some good opportunities. Uh, first, Bryce Sides, he'll go for the, the goal right up here for Notre Dame. It's a nice shot on goal, but nice save by Perryville as well in goal right there. Then Notre Dame's Charlie West with the header makes a heck of an effort at that one, but can't get that, that one in there as well. Perryville with a good kick, but blocked by West. Then they get an outstanding opportunity here, but goalkeeper Thomas Southard comes up big for Notre Dame, and it was a big game for them. They win 2-1, to one, Notre Dame, and uh, Bryce Sides and Connor Adams, by the way, scored the Bulldogs two goals. And also an impressive day for a pair of Heartland golfers. Popper Bluffs uh, Ryan Waddell and Olivia Thetford finished First place at Webster Groves in a sc scramble at Quail Creek Golf Course in St. Louis. They shot a winning score of 68. High school softball, the powerful Chaffee Lady Red Devils uh, playing at Kelly. Kelly has been a powerhouse. How about Chaffee freshman starter uh, Carlane Casu? Five strong innings for her. And then Paisley Graham, a two-run homer. <laughs> hey, hey, she hits that one out for Chaffee. They had the power game working as well. You can see the celebration at home, and they had reason to celebrate uh, Chaffee with an impressive 14 to 1 win over Kelly, and they hadn't beaten him for a while, so that is definitely impressive. Also, the Cardinals, and I'll update this one because they just had a walk-off win. Wilson Contreras, a couple of homers. Tommy Edmond, the game winner in the 10th inning. It just ended just moments ago, so Cardinals win that game 6-5. to five. We'll have a timeout. Come right back with Grant right after this. <laughs> 